But when I was standing there at the edge, looking down, and it was totally black, that you could see the eyes, and then it disappeared in the black hole. And nobody knew how deep it was. N nobody were, knew where it ends. That was scary. Filmmaker Lars Ostenfield's new documentary, Into the Ice, takes us to the front lines of climate change as he descends into the depths of the melting Greenland ice cap. It is happening and uh, I want people to feel it and also to take it serious. I mean, this film celebrates science and the science is behind the science. And uh, I want people to take it serious and start listening to what they are saying. In order to get a look at what's happening as the ice cap melts, Lars followed climate scientists deep into a meltwater drain, or Mulan, an adventure that he wasn't quite expecting. First of all, it was a good idea back home in Denmark to climbing down in the Mulan. <laughs> Where we were, it's not just a, a black hole, you know, the ice is moving all the time, every day, half meter. So that means the hole is also moving. Is it safe enough? Can we, can we get some ice in the head? when we are down or so we took it in small steps when i was down in 60 meters there was a small plateau and i could stand on that and i could start filming from that position that was i was very scared very very scared <laughs> getting beautiful shots is good but there's a real scientific basis for getting into the ice i mean What's happening inside the inland ice is very important to understand because actually half of the ice mass, mass uh, melting is happening from inside the ice and we have no idea what's happening uh, inside. Into the Ice will continue to play at film festivals before potentially coming to streaming services as well.